Hi guys, and today it's time to put the time to play Luton in the second leg of our playoff semi final tomorrow, so let's get started. In goal, I'll go for Anthony Patterson. The race mark of Patterson, um, the goal he couldn't really do anything about, it was unlucky if anything from the corner. In the second half, if we wanted to, we could have got a deck chair and just sat, sat, or sat in the crowd before. That's how, um, comfortable it was, and he didn't have a soft to see of, so yeah. Right centre back three of Hume. I've been debating long and hard do you go for a back three or a back four, but I've decided if Robertson puts hard a fit, I would go for a back three and does the goal and chain. Hume, I thought, had a good game against them. Um, Luton, he obviously handled Adibayez or however you pronounce his name really, really well. He also scored the goal that, that got us like the the victory and yeah, he was really impressive So and he continued to do well at centre half so yeah. In the middle, local 9, the race mile because I think he had another solid game. Again, Marshall def defence re really well being in the middle and yeah, yeah, local 9 had another solid, solid game so yeah. Then left of the back three, I will go for Lyndon Goats again, the race mile, because of course, Idian Goats is not but I think he's far from us, um, a centre half, but I thought he did have a dodgy start against them um, on, on, in the first leg, but I think once he got used to it, he, he did, he did well, he put a few crunch and challenges in, and, and, and yeah, yeah, so I think he deserves to keep his place, and overall he's done well, well in the last few weeks, so yeah. Right, thank Right wing back Pat Roberts to race mile because I thought Pat Roberts had another had a good game against um um Luton in the first leg um defensively I thought he done 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 well and and then going forward he caused them problem after problem and I pray to God he's fit to start so yeah then first thing mid Dan Neil the race mile because I thought he had a good he had another good game against um Luton he. He kept the ball ticking, he kept recycling it, stuff that, that you want your midfielder to do. And Daniels had a good season, so yeah. Then, left centre mid PR Equa. I'm running out of words to steer for this lad. He's absolute, he's bounced back absolutely fantastically from giving that penalty against, against Hull. In my opinion, he was my man in the match against Hull. I mean, against Lewin. He's an absolute machine. I can't believe how good he is. He's got a bright future and will play in the Premier League one day, just hopefully he's with us, so yeah. Left wing back, I'll go for Jack Clark, the race mile, because Jack Clark, I don't think he had his best game in the world against um, um, Luton in the first leg, but but he showed his quality at right, right um, when he crossed the ball to Hume, and that's what we're going to need in the second leg if we're going to get through, and Clark he had an unbelievable season. I think he's now got 12 assists, what, if you include the playoff from the championship, what makes him the top assist, assist maker, and yeah, all credit to the lad, lad so yeah. Right wing, I'm a Diallo of the race, right, because... I'm running out of words to describe Amit Diallo. What an absolute goal from from the free kick that 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 was. And Diallo for me, he's been he's been one of our best. He's been probably our best attacking player this season. He's been absolutely fantastic. He showed why this season he's cost forty million for Manchester United. And like I said, he's another one who one day will go and play on in the Premier League. He's an unbelievable player. And yeah, and then left wing. Or whatever you want to call it. If he's fit, I'll go for Alex Pritzard the race night. Because I thought Alex Pritzard was absolutely unbelievable in the first leg. He obviously got the assist for the Ahmad goal. What was a good good idea to pass to Ahmad. And he, he kept driving us, getting us up the pitch, trying to create a problem. And that's what Pritzard can do. Do He's a good player, but he just has to show it. So, yeah. And striker Joe Galhart, the reason why. Because I, do, I don't think Galhart did anything... Um, anything special but he was a part of a team he he tried he was in duck industry has worked really really hard and and yeah i think he still kept his place he should have scored early in the first half and put our found him but but yeah and the bench alex fast johansson the return of Adi lacy and now huggins Isaac Hadley, Abdullah Barton, Edward Mates. So, so yeah so my score prediction i'm going to be honest with you i think it'll be a 1-1 draw I want to see Jack Clark will get the goal that'll, f that, that'll help us win the tie overall. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment and see. Yeah.